Hello, 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 and welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. It's me, Order Girl. Sorry, I'm a, a lot late. I was supposed to start at 7 a.m., and I ended up starting at 8 a.m., which means I'm a whole hour late. But I'm happy to all of you guys who are here because it is, um, I didn't even know until I started to stream that it is my um, affiliate anniversary. So it makes sense because uh, last summer camp was when I really started streaming and uh, so many people followed my world, uh, I mean, followed my Twitch channel because I was featuring their articles. So that's how I became an affiliate, which is uh, amazing. Thank you guys so much for being awesome. Um, and now I have exactly 301 followers, which is amazing. So uh, thank you to everybody who is following my channel and those few subscribers that I have as well. Um, I do see already Moonlight Bard is in the chat. Hi, 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 happy anniversary. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Strix is here. Greetings. Hello. Um, Terrafay Bell is here as well. Welcome, welcome to the stream, and thank you so much for joining, Tara. Um, yeah, so we are we're going to get into the articles, of course, and then we are going to do some celebrating as well. Um, but, you know, if you filled out the form, please let me know. If you did not fill out the form, it's okay. You can go ahead and just uh, put your links in the chat so that I can read your articles. Now, some of you guys uh, I read already, like Moonlight Bard, I know I read theirs last stream which was, was that Saturday days are just merging into each other um, that was a wonderful article by the way um, Strixline did you fill out the form yes you put that on the form <laughs> yes thank you um, Strixline uh, did you fill out the form uh, Tara did you fill out the form? I don't know. I just want to make sure that I... Okay, I'm going to find... I'm going to reload the form and just try to find you guys. And if I don't see you, it's all right. I will. Um, let's see. Uh, we'll go to the author page, and we're going to try to find Strix. I don't see Strix. Okay, let's find Tara. I don't see Tara either. So I do not think you guys did fill out the form. So if you guys did do the articles and you want me to read those articles, can you please put your links in the chat because I do not see on the form. If you filled out the form, I don't know why I can't find it. Uh, yeah, Terry, Tara, you say you did not fill anything out. Okay, great. Did you happen to write an article about uh, character driven by Wanderlust or the desire to explore? If you did... Then I can read it while you're here. If you did not, it's all right. We can um, just have fun and read other articles. Um, also, am I lagging? Can you guys please tell me if I'm lagging? Because I look like I'm lagging to me, uh, and that's annoying. But um, yeah, I, it's it's annoying. I need to really work this out. Pretty sure you did. Okay, great. So we will just go ahead and search your page and find you. Um, first I'm gonna just go to my summer camp reading article then and if you guys want to check that out I'll put that in the chat it's a fun article and it sums up summer camp uh, but I'm just gonna click this right here that says the character driven by wanderlust or the desire to explore and when I go to this page I'm going to search for Tara and hmm <laughs> Oh, there you are already. The Wandering Fellow by Tara Fay Bell. Nice. Uh, Tara says, honestly, haven't looked at World Anvil since camp ended. I will soon. Uh, that's totally understandable. You really don't have to. It's okay. Some people really need to take a big break after summer camp because there's so... Oh, wow. We're still celebrating over here. Well, okay. All right. Anyways. Um... Yeah, taking a break after summer camp because summer camp is a lot. It's understandable. You do not have to apologize for not looking at World Anvil, especially all of those notifications. I had so many. I finally got them down, and it was a lot. So, yeah, there's no 
there's no uh, trouble in that. Stepping away is good. Um, there we go. Here is the link in the chat to uh, Tara Faye Bell's The Wandering Fellow article. You did want me to read this on stream, right? Because if you don't, I won't. I just was doing it because I thought you did. Um, but if you do not want me to, I will not. Uh, feel free to let me know. Uh, oh, thank you for the wishes. Thank you. Uh, yeah. It's all good to read? All right, great. All righty. Um, the Wandering Fellow. Regan was actually there when I went to see Hoenn. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Sorry if I'm not. Please let me know if I'm not. He isn't a fan of Jefferson Trolley Colopelops, though he does think the research on magi bugs eating different foods is interesting, but not interesting enough to stop him from working on the artifact. I asked him where his was, but he said Hoenn gave it to Mello a long, long time ago. Hoenn doesn't remember. He also said he once tried to cut open Mello to try and find it, but Mello smacked him with the force of a teen dryad. What? Okay. Mello isn't a dryad, though. Even I even asked them. Mello can't speak, but shook its flower head. Tagrin. Ah, imagining one of those things try to speak is terrifying. Mimi. Bet you had nightmares of it just saying nom 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 while coming for you. Tagrin. <laughs> I asked if they were a guardian, but it just kind of shrugged. As much as a plant with no arms can shrug anyways. Hoenn says that Mello sometimes talks to her in dreams, but it's mostly on how to beat Jefferson Trolley Coloplops at Jodgeball. The Wandering Fellow I asked Hoenn about the Wandering Fellow, the dark elf with red hair and a scar around his neck that looks like a scar. Um, is it a scar around his neck that looks like a scarf, or a scarf around his neck that looks like a scar, or is it a scar around his neck? That just looks like a scar. I don't know if that was a typo. I don't know. I'm just pointing it out. Oh, him! Hoenn finally remembered after I tried to describe him 50 times. Yes, it was a scar that looks like a scarf. I figured that's what it is. And that's very creative. A scar that looks like a scarf. Very interesting. Um, but yeah, a little small typo. It's fine. As you could tell, I kind of knew what you were meaning. So it's good. It's all good. Um, then she found a picture. His hair wasn't actually red. It was a gray color, but had a red glow around it. From her description, it kind of sounds like the red glow AB has when separated from me or the spear for too long. She told me that he was someone who liked to go to various places and look for really random things. He also asked about Reagan's artifact at this point, and now that she remembers it, that's why she fed it to Mello, so that the man wouldn't get it. She got mad, but then had tea with him before he left, so he'd know she didn't hold a grudge after he left. Where did he go? I asked. But Hoenn only remembers him telling all sorts of strange stories from non-populated areas in Turin, so she thinks he just went traveling alone again. Maybe he mentioned turtles? Don't know how he was going to hold his breath to swim there, though. Oh, him? Reagan said at some point. Hoenn still has his book downstairs somewhere. What book? Hoenn asked, tilting her head cutely. You stole it from him as he was leaving. I told you that elves can't drink Fitzerberry tea. Hmm, Fitzerberry tea. We made some and I drank. We made some and drank it while looking for the book. Guardians, Volume Two, Ocean Friends. We read the title aloud together. Something like this was here all along? Interesting. The book. The book is basically a travel diary of someone who has met a bunch of guardians. One entry talked about the caves under the Badlands and a glowing doorway that sounds very much like the one under Turtle Island. 
Apparently, it is guarded by strong guardians who are waiting for certain artifact holders to go inside and train themselves. If there are sister artifacts, only one needs to go inside, and normally it's, it is thought that the weaker of the two do so, as they are better able to handle the growth from inside the doorway. It says that both artifact holders will gain the training and bonding of the one who goes inside, but the one outside, Chilling and Turian has no extra resistances to the speed of the growth and what that can do to your body. The Wanderer mentioned in the book that he has written a guide for the one who stays in Turian, how they can train themselves on this side for it, but it must still be with him. Guess I shall have to find him, cause no way is Elder Jazik go gonna let A.B. stay in the less safe side of things. I don't want to tell her it's training for multiple years, though. Oh, uh, that's very interesting. All right. So, thank you so much again to Tara Paybell for sharing this very interesting article. Uh, I, I do like how you always tell in the world, most of the articles that I read are being told from a perspective of in-world characters, and that's something I really like. I love when in-world characters are talking about a character and I know that this is not one of your most spruced up articles of course at the end of summer camp everybody's rushing we're just getting the words out there just so that it can count and submitting the articles so that's no problem I do know you usually do way more with CSS because uh, I would of course mention the sidebar as I always mention uh, but that's okay uh, Tara Faybell has some awesome articles if you guys want to check them out please go to the homepage and I'm sure that you will see a lot of other cool ones that are already like they have so many like text boxes and different people talking and then there's little floating, um, you know, post-it notes and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do too much on the formatting because I know that you will, you will clean that up. Um, so I do like how this is a good structure of an article. I've, I'm sure you're going to clean it up, make it, uh, you know, a little you know more aesthetic, I guess, but also like a little more organized. But I do appreciate how... It talked not just about the Wandering Fellow, but it told us even more lore about the world and stuff like that. And that is just very interesting. And I love how you have like conversations between characters in the world. And we don't know the full story. So I'm like, huh? Okay, that's curious. But doing that makes me want to read more about like the Turtle Island and the, the Ocean Guardians and stuff. Because I did see that you did read, you did write some articles about those things. And so I like how almost all of your articles are teasers for other articles and teasers for the rest of the world. If you're unfamiliar, you can go exploring. And that's another thing. I'm sure that you will probably link some of those things when you clean it up. Because that would be a time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just said it. I will have to link up the articles. Yes. Um, yeah, that would be a time where I would say, ooh, Mellow, who's that? And I would want to click and see who they are. Um, so, yeah, so all of the feedback I have for the article is stuff that I know you're already going to do because you always do that so well anyways. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for sharing this article. It's very interesting and it makes me very curious about these things. Um, so yeah, of course, uh, after the ceremony, uh, of course you will clean it up but I do get the picture anyways and that's the good thing I, I get the picture I kind of understand what's happening I do want to know more about this Jefferson person <laughs> it seems very fun um, so yeah thank you so much again for sharing that um, hello 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 welcome 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 to the stream if you are just now joining I am reading articles from world in Volt summer camp if you wrote an article about a character driven by wanderlust or the desire to explore please drop those links in the chat because I would love to read them I am the community sponsor for this prompt so I'm just reading through some articles and uh, trying to see which one I'm gonna pick for the winner uh, we just got done reading Tara Fair Bell's article and uh, if you already filled out my form, great. If you say what form, that means you probably didn't fill it out. So it's okay. Just put your link in the chat and I will read your article. Um, in the meantime, uh, we can do other fun stuff as well. It is my Twitch anniversary. Um, I mean, well, no. 
it's my affiliate anniversary. So I was on Twitch before I became an affiliate. But it's probably one and the same because honestly, the funny story about my uh, summer camp was the first summer camp I tried to Twitch stream, I only streamed one time. It was like on a lunch break during work and I had handsome co-host, um, he was stopping everybody from commenting and stuff. So nobody could talk. My stream was only 30 minutes and you had to be following me for like 30 minutes before you could talk. So nobody like said anything because they couldn't. Um, and then people were watching and I didn't know what on earth I was doing. And therefore I was just like, okay, no, that didn't work. Um, the very next year was last year and I did really pretty well. Uh, I still not a Twitch expert by any means. I'm still not. Um, but I'd like to think that I was, um, I am improving. <laughs> I'd like to think that I'm improving a little bit. Um, so I am grateful for that and I'm grateful for uh, all the followers that I have ac accumulated now. Um, and that's just amazing. So um, thank you guys for being awesome. And like I said, you guys are the ones following me. If there's anything you want to see from me, if there's any tips you have for me, I am open to taking them because I want to keep learning and growing and improving and being a cool streamer for you guys because you guys are the reason that I'm streaming. I see Dreamcard Dr. Bruce here. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Much love. How are you? It's so good to see you in the chat. Um, don't know how I missed so much. I was checking. Oh, no, it's okay. I don't know if you... You you probably didn't miss too much of the stream. Uh, I just started, literally, like, less than 30 minutes ago, which I was late. I was supposed to start an hour ago, but I did not. Aw, thank you. I appreciate um, the well wishes for the anniversary as well. Um, yeah, I didn't even know it was until I started streaming. I, and it said a little thing. It said, it's your affiliate anniversary. I said, oh, wow. Oh, okay. But it makes sense. It was summer camp. Um, but yeah, so if anybody else has any articles they would like me to read, please let me know and I will read them right now while you're on the stream. I do think that, I don't know, let me see. <laughs> yes, Dream Cartographer did fill out the form. And let's see if Dream Cartographer wanted me to read it on stream. Yes, of course, Dream Cartographer said. So we are going to read this article. Where is it? It is Wing. And that was a very, this is a very um, interesting character that I wanted to read about, but I hadn't read it because I was avoiding reading all of these uh, characters until it was time for me to actually start. So uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, Oh no, what happened? We're gonna read about Wing Itera P22. Very interesting. Um, my keyboard. Okay. Oh right, Wing, okay. Oh wow, I already love the, their picture. <laughs> so stylish. I love the sky. I wish I could soar into the clouds. That's what Wing says. Wing is a member of the P family and the 22nd Itera. And I love the tooltips. Always love the tooltips. Uh, and, and Itera is a, the word for a single generation of variants. Okay. From airplanes to birds to hot air balloons, she loves all things related to the power of flight. Her dream is to be able to fly herself and travel across the open sky. Unfortunately, the sky is not a domain that variants have explored, nor is it a priority, much to Wing's dismay. Aww, that's so sad, but it's so cute and so sweet. And her name is Wing, but she can't fly. Aww, that's so sad. Okay. I wish my wings were real. Oh, she does have wings. I wish my wings were real. Why don't people here want to fly? Isn't it boring staying on the ground? Besides, Flying looks so cool. Uh-huh, I like her. Okay, uh, Wing is on the taller side compared to her fellow kinder ones, which are children from the youngest era of variants. She is agile and a fast runner. 
Wing always wears a gray jacket with black wings on the back. She also likes to wear sunglasses or aviator goggles and a scarf around her neck to make her feel like a pilot. She often puts cute hair slides and pins in her bangs. I see all that here. That's so cute. Um, motivation. Wing wants to fly by any means. She would like to someday travel long distance through the sky and perhaps see if there, re I mean, if there really is a sea beyond the moors. Yes, I read about the moors and I read about the uh, myth about how there might be a sea beyond and they don't know. That's very interesting. She also wants to chase storms with her best friend, Tempest. Ooh, I've heard of Tempest. Oh no, Tempest's article is not done. It's okay. Okay. Wait, what happened? Okay, go back. <clears throat> All right, she likes swings, high places, trampolining, and any other things that make her feel like she's up in the air, even if only for a moment. Uh, Wing is upbeat, dreamy, and energetic. Yes, I get that. Even just from the way she's talking and from her picture. <laughs> um, Wing is confident and outgoing. I get that too. All right, let's see. Wing and Tempest are best friends. Nice. They have been best friends since they were four Milos or Milos old. Uh, Wing also co often calls Tempest Timmy. <laughs> Wing and Tempest both have a passion for the sky and all its beauty and wonder, though Tempest's main love is storms. They admire each other's adventurous spirit and want to travel together to help support each other's dreams. Oh, that's so sweet. This article is just so cute and sweet. Um, let's see. Uh, watching the clouds, its current status. Oh, yes, I love when you Dream Cartographer has great current status. <laughs> Like a lot of times when I make current status, I don't even know what I put. Like I need to go back to some of my articles because I don't, even though I love character articles, I don't think I've written very many of them um, in my own world. And if I have, I have not usually utilized the current status very much. And if I have, I don't remember. <laughs> but... I've noticed the dream cartographer has nice current status, like watching the clouds. Like, that's so cute. Um, they're in Citadel, 12 Milos old. Milos or Milos? I don't know. I look at it and say Milos. Um, 22nd Genesis. Yes. Okay. Wing has long purple hair that is often tied back into a high ponytail. Yes. Cute. Milos. It is Milos. Okay, great. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's so funny. Dream Cartographer says I learned how to write good statuses from me. Oh, was that then a hat? Okay, I must do it. I must just not remember. Okay. Uh, sometimes people are, um, they tell me like, oh, I like this thing on your site. And I'm like, <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I don't remember. <laughs> but yes, uh, I'm glad. I appreciate that, and thank you so much for sharing this article. Wing is so fun. I love this character so much. And the way you laid out the article is cute as well. Uh, once again, these relationships, this is just a thing that is annoying on World Anvil personally. I don't like how they make the relationships stuck in this article like this, but if I didn't know, I would think that that was just your choice, and it's perfectly fine, but then I would just probably try to fill up the sidebar with something uh, to even it out. But see, if the relationships could go in the sidebar right here, then it would even out. So yeah, it's annoying, but it's it's cool. And it's, it's good. And I like the theme of your world. It's really cool how tech theme it is. Um, so thank you again for sharing, Dream Guard Dogger. That was a delightful little article. Alrighty. So, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I even put the link in the chat to you guys? Did I? No? Everybody, please go check out Wing. Wing is a cute character, an awesome character. Um, I did put yours in the chat, Tara, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, I didn't put Wing. Now I did. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Tried to keep a sidebar, but it added a scroll bar and it looked ugly. Yes, I don't like when the sticky sidebar adds a scroll bar in the sidebar and that's so weird too um so yeah it's better it's better to have this instead of that yeah it's better to have this instead of that personally i do believe 
Um, but I, there is a way to fix it, I think, but I don't remember how. So I'm not even going to say that. And I know that summer camp is not the time to go down CSS rabbit holes. The main thing we're trying to do is get all the words out there so that we can uh, submit the article. So that's the most important thing. And regardless of the formatting, I think this character is really cool. So thank you again for sharing. So cool. Um, yeah. So if anybody else is in the chat and they would like to read their article, um, please feel free to put links or just let me know you're here and I will check the form and see if you filled out the form and I will read your article. Um, yeah, let's see if you sheets. Oh, I can, I can, uh, I'm going to, um, find Dream Cartographer and check it off the list. If I can find it. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. Alrighty. So, um, if anybody else is here, feel free to let me know. Uh, we are still doing lots of cool stuff and celebrating. The shop is still open. So if you guys would like to purchase anything from the shop, feel free. It is not your real money, it's wisps that you earn just by chatting, participating, and watching my streams. Um, so yeah, and we, oh wow, I still have Christmas stuff up, even though it's August now. I need to take the Christmas stuff down, but since I didn't do it, if you want to buy a Christmas thing, you can. Um, <laughs> too late now. But, um, yeah, there's other stuff that's not Christmas as well in the chat, so feel free to do that. Um, in the meantime, I guess we could, uh, I don't know. Do you guys want to play some uh, words on stream or something while we're waiting? Words on stream is quite fun. And there were some other games that we tried. Oh, no, what happened? Okay. Oh, AJ is here. Hello. And AJ has made someone laugh. A classic favorite. Mm, we are going to see if we can make someone laugh. <clears throat> if it loads. Okay. So, um, let's just get this started. There we go. I don't know why it's taking someone so long to laugh. I need to get a better system for this. Um, one of my viewers, Josiah Source, had uh, also said maybe, and if the music is too loud, I'm turning it down a little bit. Let me know if the music is too loud over my voice if you can't hear me. Um, but yeah, Josiah Source said maybe I should make it where when some... <laughs> Oh, that's over. <laughs> okay, it finally loaded. Hopefully you heard that. If you did not, let me know. Because so much is going on right now. But Josiah Sora suggested that maybe I should make uh, it where once people redeem the someone laugh, he instantly just starts laughing. And I thought, maybe I could do that. But I feel like my streams would be getting interrupted a lot with a lot of laughs. I don't know. I might do it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, let me know if you heard that laugh. If not, it's okay. <laughs> he did want to go jump scare. I guess he did. Um, I'm sharing the mirror link for this uh, words on stream. So you guys can play without the lag because I think that I'm lagging a lot. I don't know. If you guys see lag, let me know. If you guys don't see lag, great. I'm glad. But I see lag, so I don't know. Anyways, uh, we're going to start this game, but if you are here and you are wanting me to read your article, feel free to put it in the chat and we will get to... Oh no, AJ says, pause, there's an ad, so we will wait for AJ to come back. Ah, 
All right, so in the meantime, if anybody else is still here, we will just tell you that uh, you can submit your articles and I will read them, even if we're in the middle of playing a game. Um, after the game, we will instantly get to your article. Alright. Um, let's see what Moonlight says. Moonlight, I need to catch one of your streams, but I feel like you're a really good streamer. I'm, I have gotten so many tips from you, but I don't think I've ever really watched your stream. <laughs> I need to do better. Thank you for the tips. But Moonlight does say you can set limits and cooldowns on your rewards. So if you want auto laugh, but not all the time, set a five or 10 minute cooldown. True. Yes, uh, I do know that you can set cooldowns, and I didn't even make the connection that if I don't want him to constantly laugh, I could just set a cooldown. That makes so much sense. Thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, Monday through Friday, 4 to 6. Okay, thank you. I will try to drop by because um, I do get off at work at 4, but sometimes I'm not able to instantly watch. So hopefully I can catch it one day. Um, yeah, I will keep that in mind. Good time slot. Hopefully it is back. Is the ad lasting that long? Oh no. Alright. Um. Oh, you are back. Okay, great. Yay! Alright, we're gonna get started with this game. And let's see what we can do and let's see how high we can go. What is the highest that we ever got here on this stream? You have a newsletter, yes. Oh yes, I um I think I... I don't know if I signed up, but I do know I went to your website before. Thank you. I will try to sign up for that. Why am I not thinking? Oh. Trat, I didn't do it in time. Oh, yeah, I did do it in time. Okay. I wonder what the long word was. I just was not able to think. But that was good. We still got, we got, we got through. Great job, guys. All right, let's go. I don't know if they're gonna let me say this. Oh, they do, okay. <laughs> Challenging. 
Nice. I like the music. Nice. I've always seen this, um, enjoy extra features. What is enjoy extra features? I mean, if I scan it, I'll find out, I guess. I wonder what will happen. I think I'm gonna scan it. telling me to play with Twitch, and I am me. Okay. I wonder what kind of other features are here. I'm gonna exit that. Doesn't look like other features to me. Ah! It's Una! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream! Una, thanks so much for joining! If you have an article you'd like me to read, feel free to put the link in the chat, or if you filled out the form, please let me know. We are doing article reads for a um, character driven by Wanderlust or the desire to explore. If you wrote one of those for World Animal Summer Camp, do let us know and do put it in the chat or tell me that you filled out the form. If you don't know what form I'm talking about, you probably didn't fill it out, so feel free to put that link in the chat. We are just uh, doing some words on stream, and once this round is done, we will get back into more art glories. Alrighty, let's see what happens. Alrighty. Um. Oh, I get it. I think you have to be unlocked. Now you can say it. Tara. Oh, Dream said it. Great. You don't know if I already read it? So yes, so Una, basically, I have not been reading them until now on purpose because I did not want to have to worry about, um, I didn't want to have to worry about, uh, duplicates. And I have not read anything on stream unless you say you want me to so feel free to put it in the chat and i will likely read it again i if i already read it and i already liked it um in other streams yeah no i didn't read it unless you were here i've been doing this on purpose oh somebody else already said part Oh, there we go. Last minute. Yep, feel free to put it in the chat still, and I will, um, I will, I'll read on stream, if you like to do. But we can play this game first. After the game, um, feel free to do that. Uh-oh. It is on the list, actually, so you fill out the form. Great. Awesome. 
Laura. Okay. I will um, look up Laura. Thank you. I appreciate that. Wasabi Cheetah for following the channel. I appreciate you. If you're just now joining, we are just uh, reading some articles, but right now we are um, playing words on stream. Shalom, Wasabi Chita. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate it. Yes, we are reading articles. We are playing words on stream. If you are part of the World Anvil community and you have written an article about a character driven by wanderlust or the desire to explore, you can let me know and put it in the chat so I can read it. If you have not done that, it's okay. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We're just playing words on stream. It's basically a game where you have to try to unscramble the words and... Um, come up with as many words you can out of the letters that are provided. It's going to start getting tricky after a while, but if you'd like to join in the game, you can do so anytime. If you'd like to just sit by and watch, feel free to enjoy the music because it sounds pretty cool to me. I also do have a shop, so if you'd like to purchase anything, um, feel free to, and that is not your money. It is... Ah, thank you so much for Accept Obscurity. Uh, following. I appreciate you guys following so much. Uh, skate. Oh, nice. Okay, so what is it? Is it, uh, the P might be fake. Yep, I think the P is fake at this point. at the same time. Yep, it was the P. chat yep thank you so much to everybody who's just now joining we're playing words on stream and once this is over we are going to go back to reading articles so feel free to get those together so that i can uh it did accept kate oh wow that's interesting all right it's another fake letter you guys let's see p 
fever doesn't work, but severe does. I think that F is fake. Yep, okay, F is fake, guys. There we go. Yep, brief is a good one, but the thing about this is it's a tricky level where the F is fake, so we can't use the F. So it's trying to trick you. It's a very weird thing, and it will, um... Oh, thank you so much, Crypto I Play, for the well wishes! Did I say... What did I say? Reserve? That's not working, because there's only one R. What is that word? minute great job all right we skipped three levels with that one great moonlight says have you gotten high enough where it starts hiding all of the right answers that have been accepted oh no I have not gotten to that point now I'm scared all right we'll see I don't think that we've gotten past level 17 Possibly level 20. I don't know, but the highest I remember is level 17. So we can see if we can get up there. Maybe we'll get up there. I don't know. But I know for sure it has not hidden the right answers ever. But yeah, now there is a hidden letter and a fake letter. So we can't make words with a fake letter, but we have to guess what the hidden letter is. This just gets so much challenging every time. So fate is not up there. Is it the F that is fake? Let's see. Tape is there. Okay, I'm thinking that the F is fake. Yep, I think the F is fake. Let's see. Mm. Ah. It's not a D. An R. Another in? What? How are we gonna do? What? Okay, that's a good one. Great job, Wasabi. And you saved us at the last minute. I was like, what are you gonna do with all that? Great job. Okay. Ooh, we were about to lose. Okay, we're at level 15 now. All right, so there is a fake letter and there's a hidden letter again. Okay.
this is very weird. Um. That's a great one! I did not see that. Um... Oh, so it's a D. The hidden letter is a D. Oh, we knew that from late, too. AJ, good job. So I don't know. That's... Okay. I'm still just not thinking. A good one though, you guys. Unfortunately, we lost. But that was a great round. I think that that round was pretty cool. A lot of cool words. Great job, you guys. Jumping in at the last minute and stuff like that. Uh, awesome. So we've got our rankings now. Oh yeah, what I was supposed to do, I had homework to do. I was supposed to figure out what these rewards mean and how to reward them. I do not have a reward point system set up in my Twitch, and I need to do that because, I don't know, Moonlight, Moonlight Bard, are you still here? <laughs> um, do you give out points on your streams? Ah, Queen Boxy's here. Thank you so much for the well wishes for the anniversary. I appreciate it. We are just chilling out, reading some World Anvil articles, and we are also playing Words on Stream. We are done with this round of Words on Stream, but we should play it again in a moment. Um, we are going back to article reads because uh, Una has an article that they submitted to the form. Laura, I believe you said. Ah, no, I'm in the wrong thing. There we go. There's Laura. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Um, you do hand them out every round. Okay, great. Thank you, Moonlight. Ona says, you're celebrating. I hadn't seen the title of the screen. Oh, thank you. I appreciate the congratulations as well to you. To, from you. Uh, yeah. I actually, to be fair, I actually did not figure out I was celebrating until I went to start streaming and Twitch told me that it was my stream, uh, affiliate anniversary. <laughs> So, thank you so much to you guys for letting me know uh, how celebrating you guys are of the occasion. <laughs> um, but now we're going over to this article about Laura by Una, uh, aka Escritora Novata in uh, World Anvil. We have uh, Laura, and I like how. Um, how Una lays out these articles and already I'm seeing this is quite a big uh, article and it's nicely formatted so we'll get started um, the warnings yes I do have warnings in the form you said <laughs> uh, yes okay so All right, yes. All right, so it's fine. Yes, those warnings are okay. Uh, this article is going to have a little bit of uh, mentions of violence, possibly murder. So if you're sensitive about that, uh, I won't go into very much detail. If it goes into detail, I don't think it will go into too much detail. But I will skim over stuff. You guys know sometimes that I just skip over a little bit of stuff. So don't be offended if I do that. I'm just trying to keep the streams a little bit family-friendly. But thank you again to Una for giving me those... Um, 
uh, warnings there. Uh, Moonlight says, send me a friend request on Discord. Ah, I thought I was already friends with you on Discord. I'm not. I better send one. Okay, I will. Thank you so much. All right, let's get into this article, Laura. Um, you may think that is a delicate greenish moth. Oh, wow, this. Yes, it does look like a delicate greenish moth. Uh, and Una does say, no details. Avoiding details. Yep, so great. You should be able to say it should be okay. It should be fine. Um, the less of your issues as you hide from a monster or try to find shelter from a tornado or a thunderstorm. Look again. Still a harmless bug? Yes, it definitely looks like it. Now, listen at the laugh in your head. Try to figure out where it comes from? Oh, yes. She doesn't only find it funny that you are afraid right now. She's making it happen. This ghost, which I love the tooltips. It lets us know a little bit more information if we don't know. Uh, because the, the ghosts in this world are a common name for the natural manifestation of a shard or group of shards. So this is a new world, the shards world that um, Una was starting on. Uh, and it's very interesting and very intriguing what I've read so far. Um, but this ghost is the kind that can manipulate shards to trigger their ugliest manifestations. If you're lucky, it's only smoke and mirrors, a show to terrify you. But if you have no way to know, so maybe it's better to keep running. <laughs> you have no way to know, so maybe it's better to keep running. So you can't assume they're only going to do a, a little show of smoke and mirrors. They might do worse. Just to make sure not to run in the same way she takes. Yes, she's leaving already. She never stays in the same place for long. It's a big world, and she wants to know every inch of it. She's more interested in the journey than she is in your fate. <laughs> oh, no. This is a very mysterious character. I like how um, Escritora uh, read, uh, writes these articles where it kind of tells you information, and it kind of doesn't tell you all the information. So it leaves you very curious. I like that kind of thing. Um, yes, Dream Car Talkover says, I love your writing style. Me too. <laughs> uh, and I like how it's like a person talking to you, like, well, just make sure you don't go the way she's going. Yes, she's leaving now. <laughs> I like that. That's so fun. Um, like other innocence birds, innocence bird. That sounds very interesting. And <laughs> I would love to check that out as well. She can orientate herself even if all her other senses are hindered, she's able to trigger the process for dangerous or scary ghosts to arise. While she prefers to fly, Laura is able to teleport herself anywhere. Many of us have the feeling that she can hear thoughts, but she keeps denying it. <laughs> what she definitely can do is to make people hear her thoughts. Very interesting. She is empathetic. In this case, she says that it only allows her to notice and understand others' feelings. But I'm not convinced that she can't mess with other people's emotions, too. See how that voice, that narrative voice right there. It's like they're talking to you. And they're like, well, I don't know for sure about this either, but I'm telling you this. So I like that. It's very fun. Um, maybe I could decide a distance and direction, or use that thing some humans call coordinates, but I never tried. Why would I do it when I can just go somewhere new and enjoy the surprise? Laura, about teleportation. Uh, so she just likes to teleport anywhere and not know where she's going. <laughs> That's so fun. Um, that is the embodiment of this, uh, this article prompt. It's a character driven by, uh oh driven by wanderlust or the desire to explore so she doesn't care where she's going she just wants to explore all the places um there had been other forms of her in this world for a long time katarina and other administrator met some of them all nasty in their own ways many were uninterested in communication and responded to no name they would get killed by their prey more than they would die in accidents, and the shards of Katarina's childhood would remain shapeless for a while, floating around and triggering the birth of other innocence birds until they took form again. Laura herself is just another one of those manifestations and just as prone to dying like the others, but she was born in the company's time loop, and that's a, f a funny thing. In this world, it says they've lived in the same day that keeps resetting, even death is undone. This is very fun. It's like, wow, what's happening here? 
<laughs> this is a very mysterious world. Um, with the reset, she goes back to her original state and continues to haunt the company's premises. All this time, she has had a, she had done nothing other than flying from one unknown place to another, in the middle of storms summoned by herself. <clears throat> so she summons the storms, that, and then she just flies in the middle of the storms. That's so fun. I don't think that she's affected by rain, and everybody knows that the innocence birds don't need to see where they are going to orient themselves. Is everybody else who suffer with the darkness and gets hit by lightning? And that's why many of us had to learn to avoid her. Ah, uh, AJ says pause, there's an ad. So we're gonna pause for a second. Alrighty, so while we're paused, um, yes, this writing style is nice. I, I always do appreciate when it's like an in, in a world character talking to you and telling you opinions and they are kind of an unreliable narrator because you don't know if they know all the information either. In fact, this person is telling us they don't know all the information. Um, and I really do appreciate that about the article. I do want to say, yes, you tend to look for a narrator like that. I wonder who it is. Is this narrator a person in the world that you know? Or is this like, um, just a voice that is like, oh, I'm just talking to you. Or is this like a character in the, in the world? Uh, either way is fun. But I didn't know if maybe you knew that or not. I just want to look at Innocence Birds while AJ has paused the article. I mean, paused the um, article reading because they're in an ad. I just want to know what it is. Yes, okay, a, an adorable ghost. Oh, it's usually adorable ghost, which means it might not be adorable sometimes. Um, yes, there's an article for it. Okay, great. Uh, this usually adorable ghost is the manifestation of one or more shards related to lost childhood and focused on the curiosity and freedom of that age. Oh, wow. Interesting. Oh, wow. Wow. This is a very intriguing and, like, profound type of world still. Uh, I, I'd love to read more about this Innocence Birds as well. Uh, and who is the name of the person who is narrating, you said? There is an article for her? Great. I would love to check it out. Um, AJ, are you back? If AJ's not back, it's okay. But if you're back, let us know so we can continue. Uh -huh. Um... Yeah, let me know what the name of this narrator is so I can look at her article as well. I think it would be fun to read that. And a funny thing would be to ask, is she narrating her own article? <laughs> or is somebody else narrating it? Oh no, it says, I forgot her name. I only think of her as the head hostess. Yeah, makes sense. It's okay. Sometimes names, as someone would say, names are unimportant. So therefore... <laughs> Uh, the main important thing is the fact that she is the person who's narrating all the stuff. Uh, the bad thing about that is we don't know how to find her then. <laughs> 101 Colonel is here! Happy anniversary, says Colonel. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. And thank you for the well wishes. Um, uh, Una says she narrates her own article. Yes, I would love to read that then. Um, I don't know. Is AJ back? We would love to get, get, um, continue on with this. Um, it is the one who lurks in the shadow. Okay, great. At least she knows that she's the one who lurks in the shadows and we can go find her. So basically how we're going to do that is we're going to go to Escritora's, um, competition page. And then we're going to go to the one that is the one who looks lurks in the shadows. Was it down here somewhere? Desiree, is it? 
Ooh, I like it already. Me? I'm no one. Just trying my best to show you the place and to let you enjoy it or judge it by yourself. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm going to bookmark that for later. I like that article. <laughs> I didn't even read it. Um, AJ is back. Great. Uh, yep, we found her name. Desiree. I don't know. And also, Escritora Novata. I believe is better to pronounce it. I'm saying it so wrong. I know some Spanish. Um, un uh, pequito espanol. And I do not pronounce it correctly. So I apologize. I know Laura is supposed to be with Spanish inflection as well. And uh, Katarina. But I feel like if I try that, everybody's just going to laugh at me or get offended. <laughs> But I try. Um, yeah, great. <clears throat> Let's continue then. AJ's back. Um, uh, where were we? Yes. Uh, da, 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 da. We were at employment. Yes. Okay. She doesn't work for the company, but she helps the cartographers so often that she may as well be an employee. Occasionally when she fails to scare a t lost tourist to death. She helps to find the, the way back or guide them as a host would. Some of them are even convinced that she's nice, simple, misunderstood. Others think that she's the weirdest hostess of the company, but again, she doesn't really work with us. <laughs> they throw in that disclaimer, that's good. Um, she's the first being, human or ghost, to survive the haunted houses. Whoa. <laughs> and the only one that has explored them all. One may even say that she did so without losing her sanity, but some would argue that there was nothing to lose to start with. How did I know that that's where I was going? That's so fun. Okay. <clears throat> day after day, she fails to reach the end of the forest. Something distracts her. She gets lost of, of, lost of die before getting too far. Not sure if there's a typo there. Um, but it doesn't matter. She'll try again day after day. I think, are you saying she gets lost or she dies before getting too far? But since she's in the time loop, then she tries again. <laughs> I think that's what you're trying to say. Um, mental trauma. Well, if you can't get killed as often as she does without developing some new fears. But she doesn't dwell on them because she's busy. Always mesmerized about something or hunting or scaring someone or throwing herself into another traumatic situation. Oh, man. Um, more than smart, she's well informed. Her memory is pretty good, and she has lived a long life of discovery and curiosity. So you could think of her as a flying encyclopedia of sorts. I love that uh, imagery of a flying encyclopedia. Um, when she stops to think about something, she will have a good idea based on reliable information. It's a pity that she rather jump into things without thinking. See, so she's very smart and well informed, but I mean, well she's well informed they they make sure to say she's more than smart but she's well informed but she doesn't necessarily use the knowledge to think of before she acts which is very fun <laughs> um not advised <laughs> but it's fun to read in this article um current status oh a cool uh, another cool uh current status exploring the mines in search of secret doors that's so cool i want to find the secret doors <laughs> Um, more than four centuries ago. Whoa. Okay. Somewhere in the forest. Uh, her kind doesn't have a current residence. I guess she's just traveling all around like a nomadic, um, being. Um, she has black compound eyes, of course, a moth, green with darker tones in certain areas. She does still think that the goddess exists, but she isn't sure of how much of what the Bidados said of her is true. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, there is no apparent purpose to her wandering, which means that the journey never ends. She just wants to know what and why everything is, and there's nothing stopping her from trying to find out, except predators and territorial ghosts, of course. But with each iteration, she learns more about one of them until she is able to get it out of her way. If you question her about her reasons to crave for this knowledge and be consistently exploring, she will be extremely confused. She just does. It's her instinct, I think, to figure the world out. It's what her kind does. 
Her reasons for being mean and doing what she can do inconvenience and scare others is equally simple and hard to explain. She's throwing a tantrum. She carries the disappointment of a little girl whose family uh, was murdered for doing something they have taught her was good and rewarded. She carries the rage of a vindictive child who doesn't, didn't have the strength to punish her enemies. Oh, wow. But Katharina also treasured her family and her childhood. She was a loving kid. Why aren't those the manifested traits? Nobody knows exactly why a ghost behaves in a certain way, but some say that Laura actually has a kind side, and it's true that she had help from some cartographers and travelers many times. Her best friend is an almsman. Um, they got our help to achieve what they wanted most. Okay, interesting. Um, that is currently living in her own world. She and the grantor understand and respect each other's way of thinking and behaving, but that doesn't stop them from constantly, constantly ruining the other's attempts to reach their goals. Katarina likes her, just don't tell them I said that, <laughs> but Laura has trouble tolerating her. Um, interesting. I like this article. Thank you so much. Oh, you said you don't know how to pronounce the vedet <laughs> Vedatus either. Uh, that's very fun, though. Um, and I like how the article is at length. I like how you have a little quote box here. The setup is nice. The theme is nice. The colors are nice. And the sidebar is nice. And then you have uh, these article blocks here to kind of make the article even out. This is a nice one. And yes, now that you say it, I think I did glance her article and then I quickly stopped reading it when I figured out that she was the desire to explore character. Um, but yeah, that happened with a couple of people. I was like, I, some people I even read the whole thing and I liked it already. And then I said, oh wait, <laughs> oh no, this is one of the ones for, that I'm supposed to be judging. So yeah, thank you again to Escritora Novata for sharing this beautiful article yes deja vu indeed oh no am i in the company's time loop <laughs> uh okay um so yes uh we are back to the reading if anybody else has an article that you would like me to read please do let us know in chat and we will try to get to yours um if you don't have it it's okay we will just uh chill out for a moment uh, let's see what else I have to do. We can, uh, either play some more Words on Stream. There are other games that the, uh, Words on Stream, uh, developers have. But Words on Stream seems like the most fun to me that I have played. Um, but I did try, we did try, was it, uh, Gartic Phone and stuff in the past? A little bit, just a little bit. Um, but it isn't as fun as words on stream in my opinion but i don't know it might be ah okay i am not friends okay, hold on. i'm gonna find you moonlight bard there we go friend request sent all right so um if we want to we can um let me just see what the other games here were, are oh not that what's that oh that was something that another person said that maybe i could try uh for my streams so let's see um I'm clicking the wrong thing. How do you... Oh, you can log out. You can say the other things. Okay, here are the other ones. There's Gardic on stream, there's Gardic show, there's stream pairs, and there's emote search. Um, Gardic show. I don't know if I did the Gardic show. 
did I do the Gardic show before? Oh yes, that was the one where I was drawing. Yes, I did do that one. Gardic on stream. I don't know. How was this one? Okay. So basically, is it just drawing several drawings at the same time? Okay. Um, how do I exit this? The screen is too big. Okay. Sorry if that was too loud. <laughs> um, Moonlight Bard says, we did not enjoy Paris. I think you mean stream pairs? Yes. But emote search is kind of fun, like word search, but with Twitch global emote strings. Interesting. Okay. So, Gardic on stream... <sighs> Might be okay. Um, emote search, according to Moonlight Bard, is fun. So, do you guys want to try that one out? Uh, stream pairs. Yeah, this was a weird one where I think it's like memory match. Yeah, you just have to keep memory matching, but you probably have to like type in the number of the 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 thing, which can be annoying. Like, you have to remember it's 55 and 62 and stuff like that. So, doing that might be okay, but yeah. Uh, Moonlight Bard said that, that they did not really enjoy stream pairs. <laughs> but if you guys want to try it out, we can. Um, emote search. So, basically, it's kind of like a word search, like Moonlight said. I did look into these games. Um... And I guess you have to find the the um, sequence that is shown here. And how do you guess it? Do you put in coordinates? Like A7? Or what? Like, I don't know how to do it. I guess we can play and find out. It flips randomly on pairs, so you can go the whole game without seeing tiles. What? <laughs> oh no! Uh, Una says, I don't know if the definition of my screen is good for that one. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you're watching it and I'm kind of pixelated and, and, and um, fuzzy, uh, you might not be able to see the differences of these emotes. Um, yeah, sorry about that. So, I don't know. So, I don't know. What do you guys want to try? Also, if you are still in the chat and you would like me to read your article, don't hesitate to drop the link in the chat or let me know that you are on the forum so I can find you. Um, let's see. We are just going to probably just play one of these. Which one do you guys want to play? Emote search, stream pairs, um, which is not recommended by Moonlight Bard, or... Uh, Kartik on stream, or do you guys just want to play words on stream? Uh, either one of those, feel free to let me know in the chat, and then I guess I think that I might have to uh, take a break and then start back streaming again later um, to do some more articles. Una does say, curious about the emote search. Okay, let's do the emote search. Uh, what is this? Why is the screen... I don't like how my screen... I think that the resolution on this uh, particular monitor that I have is just too, too Im like, magnified. So, it doesn't really... Okay. Anyways, that's technical stuff that does not matter to you. We're going to X these out. We're going to do uh, emote search. Just try it out and see what happens. If the resolution on your computer is not good, sorry... Um, but we are just gonna go ahead and, uh, whoa. Alright, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. I don't know if, um, that's too loud for you guys. If it's too loud, let me know. I'm putting the mirror link in the chat so that you guys can do it. And, um, not have to worry about my lag. So, this is how we play. We watch the sequences of emotes and search for them. Then type in the sequence coordinates in the chat. Alright. So if you guys are ready to start, 
Let's go. This is my first time playing it, so I have no idea. Um, they're saying I placed my camera here. Oh, I'm supposed to put my, hello, this over there, but it's okay. I really don't need to. Um, why am I able to do this? Am I able to just click without typing anything? Alright, let's see. The first one. Heart. Okay. Oh, I found one. It looks like H three to D seven. Ah, I did get it. Okay, great. Yep, all directions forward. Back, up, down, and diagonal, says Moonlight Bard. And I am not able to select as I just learned, but I can highlight it, so it does help, I guess. Um, let's see. We have heart to these faces. I don't even know what Twitch emotes are called. Um... I think I found another one. J6 to J10. Um, uh, Una says I6 to bottom? I6. Okay, I6 is this one to the bottom. I6 to I10. Which one is that? Um, or were you talking about this right here? Oh, it's very close. It looked like I. It was J6 to bottom. Oh yeah, it was the same. Okay, great. A uh, very close uh, I and J. Hmm. We have. We're running out of time. <laughs> This is very chill, mellow music. I like it. Yep, Una, you probably just misread. It's okay, it's okay. They're right lined up next to each other, so you got, you got it. That was the one. Um, we ran out of time. That was pretty uh, interesting. Uh, I guess if I was, I guess, a little bit more familiar with the Twitch emotes, I mean, that wouldn't do anything, either. I would just be able to tell you guys what they're called. At the moment, I don't really know what most of them are called. <laughs> um, but yeah, too chill music is misleading. Yes. <laughs> uh, Dreamcartographer says, I couldn't, I found one, but I couldn't figure out coordinates in time. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's an interesting game. So yeah. Um, nice to try them it's always nice to try new things and see how it goes do you guys want to try us uh, stream pairs and see if you guys like it even if moonlight doesn't care for it or do you guys want to try gartic on stream i believe because we did gartic show one time and it was just like gartic phone but i just had to tell you guys i mean i just was drawing and you guys had to guess what i'm drawing um but gartic uh stream is something else yes Gartic on stream looks interesting I don't know how interesting it's going to be but several um, several uh, pictures are going to be being drawn at the same time 
We have to figure out what they are. Um, copy the mirror link. Yep, um, of course, Moonlight Bard says, my opinion is not law, opinion always. Yes, opinions are good. I do appreciate opinions, and some people agree with opinions, and some people don't agree with opinions. So, uh, yeah, it's fun to know what everybody thinks. All right, so now there's several things being drawn at the same time, and we have to figure out if we can guess one of them. I think I know... Um, So I thought that looked like a podium right here. Um, what? Well, interesting. <laughs> we made it to the next level. Good job. Okay. I did see you said a bug spray earlier, but they didn't take it. But once you said spray, they took it. So uh, it's going to be a little bit of weird uh, phrasing, I'm sure, that we are going to get a little bit upset at. <laughs> um, but this overall seems like an interesting uh, game. Ah, it's the lid. Okay. Nice. podium no it's not well it's a podium but we don't know what it is I was a magician. I was like, why is he holding the rabbit by the ears? Okay. Interesting.
Ah, Dream Card Nugger says pause, there's an ad! But I don't think you can pause this. You can't pause it! <laughs> oh no! What is that cool guy over there with the sunglasses on? <laughs> oh no, we lost! Are you back from the ads? The ads were so rude, I'm so sorry! <laughs> That's the reason why we lost Dream Cartography was in an ad. Well, that was a fun switch up, I guess. So sometimes you can play that. I know some people aren't more inclined to word games, like anagrams. I like them. I personally love word games and love scrambles and stuff like that. But this is another game that I think is I would put on par with uh, words on stream. Uh, where everybody's trying to guess several things and it keeps changing and like there's different pictures to figure out so I think that this is a good uh, switch up to do sometimes as well um, yeah so if you guys liked it let me know if you guys didn't like it let me know it's okay we don't all have to like it and we don't always have to do it um, it's just fun to see different things so we can do on stream to have fun together but yeah, I, um, if anybody else is uh, here who would like me to read their articles, please do let me know right now. But if not, I think I'm going to end the stream for now, but I should be back later today uh, to finish out some more articles because I need to do that now. Like, this week is going to be so hectic for me. Next week is going to be hectic. But the end of this week is the deadline for the winner. You have to choose the winner by the 18th, and I need to read these articles so um if i don't do it on stream yeah i saw katoi play congratulations on picking i know it's going to be so so challenging for you that had to be so challenging for you but uh i'm glad you finally did it and you got through it and i i'm glad that you simplified your process because reading all the articles is a lot sometimes i have to skim through them as well but that's why i kind of want people when they say they want me to read it on stream or they say they want me to look at it that's the ones i really pay attention to the rest of them yes they are in the category but i just kind of skim through if it catches my eye i love it but you know if it doesn't really catch catch my eye very much um you know all the articles are nice i there's something i like about all of the articles but you just can't choose all of, all of them to be the winner so uh, it is so challenging uh, judging these articles, but I appreciate all of you guys and uh, thanks for writing all the awesome articles. Moonlight Bar says, have an article you can read, but from the condition prompt. Oh no. <laughs> I will have to decline for now. Um, I do appreciate that. Maybe I'll have it on my reading list in my back pocket for later, which, uh, P.S., my reading list is like too long right now. But uh, yeah, I know, but aren't you like judging articles as well moonlight bard and didn't you like sign up to be like a last minute uh judge of uh like those surprise prompts that demi threw on us at the last minute like did i see that correctly because i'm like wait i thought you were already judging an article are you judging more than one? Oh my goodness yes you are <laughs> 
How are you done already? You judged two categories. Oh, oh my goodness. You're already done and you judged two categories. I think that that deserves the confetti. <laughs> also to you, Katoy Play. Uh, all the cheering for those of you who have finished out your uh, judging, but especially if you've judged more than one category, because when I saw that, I said, why are, Why is Moonlight Bard volunteering for that? Didn't I already see Moonlight Bard's name on a different prompt? How are you going to do this? <laughs> um, oh, okay, I get it. Uh, in the interest of last-minute writing and last-minute prompts, I chose for number 41 with a dice roll. But do yeah that's a good one um a dice roll great um but yeah it was the last that last minute one i would expect that it had not as many entries as the rest but that's not necessarily true because some people have skipped others and then they only did that one or like stuff like that um oh wow 101 kernels are seem to make someone laugh all right let's see gonna laugh <laughs> all right <laughs> thank you so much for redeeming that uh 101 journal uh yeah so uh congrats to all the people who have uh judged articles who have written articles anybody who may have gotten a little oh no ha <laughs> i feared that's what you were doing 101 Colonel is doing the what has now had become a running joke uh, started by Evil Inkpin, another watcher of the streams, that uh, when I'm about to end the stream, they start purchasing so much stuff from the shop so I can't end the stream without redeeming it first. <laughs> uh, so I guess that's what Colonel's trying to do. Hopefully I can get off of here before it gets too crazy. But yeah, uh, congrats to all the people who wrote articles. Congrats to all the people who are judging articles. Much success if you're not yet done judging. Much success to you if you've written articles and you don't know if you're going to win or not. Um, all of you guys are doing so great. Uh, sending all the prayers, love, and hugs your way. Um, all the beautiful beans in the community. And even if you're not part of World Anvil, thank you so much for joining my stream. And I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, if there's anything you want to see from me, please do let me know. And do look out for me to go live again today. I plan on it because I have a lot to do and this week is about to be hectic. So thank you guys so much, everybody who was able to tune in, anybody who's watching in the future. Uh, and you guys have a blessed day or happy time zone wherever you are. God bless, much success. And uh, I think I'm gonna raid somebody though. I have to raid somebody. I appreciate you guys for uh, for sharing the articles, yes, and for watching the stream. That's always great. And uh, always a pleasure to see you guys here in the chat. But I do have to read somebody because we need to share the love. So even if you don't stay the whole time, uh, if you stay just for the raid, that would be awesome. Uh, who are we going to raid? Do you have any ideas? I think that I saw some writers. If it loads, come on. Very low, very um all right we have the lady rights we have visceral vocabulary we have the tiger rights uh we also have hoot house live stream which uh one of uh my community members have uh suggested uh that we sometimes raid these little cute owls and they just have a like a video box um focused on an owl birdhouse and you just see the cute owls. So whatever you guys want to do. what Who do you want to raid? Any suggestions? If not, I can um, roll a die and find out which one I should raid. It's so fun. Because at the um, summer camp meetup, these die I have, they look cool, don't they? Wait, hold on. Ah, can you see it? No. Why is it not focusing? Maybe this one will show better. No, it won't because the light is not on it. But anyways, you might see better back here. Okay, so these are cute. Do you see how they just look gray and silver? But if I hold them in my hand for a long time, um, yeah, I get those used on Thursday nights. Yes, I will. Uh, if I hold it in my hand, 
they start to change color like a mood mood ring um i also have this one oh sorry for the microphone thing these are gold and like burgundy looking i don't know if you can see those well i don't even have perception okay but when i hold them you will see they change color which is so fun once they get warm um the color intensifies oh my chinny chin chin handsome co-host can you please get this bot out of here <laughs> i don't think it's a nice bot be gone bot says dream cartographer uh, where is handsome co-host here Excuse me, man. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with Handsome. He might be drinking too many uh, strawberry dad queries at the moment. I'm gonna have to get with him after the stream. But now, hopefully you can see that the color has changed a little bit. I haven't held them long enough, but you see it turns more red and these silver ones turn green. I just like those. They're really cute. Um, but I, I used these at the summer camp meetup. Uh, Demi liked them so much, I just said, did you want them? And he's like, no, you can keep them. Um, but we'll find out who to raid because I don't know. All right, this one says 13, so I'm going to just scroll around 13 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, should we raid the lady rides then? looks like it all right handsome left before the last minute redeems i guess so <laughs> all right uh yes it has been a while since we've seen bots on the channel co-host was doing a great job i don't know he's on summer vacation even though summer camp is over i see him with the shades right there all right so we're gonna just raid the lady rights you guys can say word up or whatever you want to say i don't know i don't have an official raid call but uh yeah god bless much success happy time zone thank you guys so much for joining me again and have a blessed one bye <laughs>